The Two Roads, Life's Road, Hora'ah Didache, Chapter 1. There are two roads, one of life and one of death. There is a great variance between the two. The road of life is this. First of all, you will care for Elohim who brought you into being. Secondly, you will care for your neighbor as yourself. All that you would not have happened to you, make sure that it does not happen to another. Pay attention to these words, since this horah is for you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for your enemies. Fast for those who persecute you. How favored are you if you only care for those who care for you? Outsiders care the same, do they not? But if you care for those who despise you, you will have an enemy no longer. Prohibit the lust of the body and of culture. If anyone strikes your right cheek, turn to him the other. In this way, you will be complete. If someone forces you to go one mile with him, go two. If someone takes your outerwear, give him your underwear. If someone takes what is yours, do not ask for it back. You cannot get it back anyway. To everyone who asks, give. Do not ask for anything back, for Av wants gifts given to all from one's personal wealth. Anyone who gives according to the mitzvah is blessed and guiltless. Cursed is anyone else who receives, except the needy who are guiltless. Anyone who does not have need must answer as to why he received. Confine him, for he must be examined in connection with what he has done. He will not be released until he has returned even the last quadrants. Similar is this saying, Let your arms sweat in your hands until you have learned to whom you should give. Horah Didache, Chapter 2 The second mitzvah of Hahorah is next. You will not commit murder, you will not commit adultery, you will not commit pedophilia, you will not commit immorality, you will not commit robbery, you will not perform magic, you will not practice witchcraft, you will not murder children by abortion, nor kill them once born, you will not pine for your neighbor's goods, you will not perjure, you will not witness falsely, you will not speak evil, you will not take pleasure in a grudge. You will not be double-minded nor double-tongued, for the double-tongue is a death trap. Your word will not be false or empty, but proven by action. You will not be greedy, nor a thief, nor a hypocrite, nor ill-tempered, nor proud. You will not plan evil against your neighbor. You will not hate anyone, though some you will rebuke, but for others you will pray and still others you will love more than your own life. Hora'ah Didache, Chapter 3 My child, run from every evil, even that which resembles it. Do not get mad, for anger leads to murder. Do not be jealous, insightful, enraged. Murders are born from all of these. My child, do not be lustful, for lusting surely leads to perversity. Neither will you be foul-mouthed, from such are adulteries conceived. My child, do not cast spells, since such leads to idolatry. Do not be a medium, astrologer, or magician. Do not be willing at all to even consider such, for idolatry is born out of them all. My child, do not be a liar, since lying leads to theft. Do not be greedy or conceited, for robbery is born from all of these. My child, do not be a whiner, since such leads to blasphemy. Do not be selfish or one who is filthy-minded, for blasphemies are born from all of these. Instead, be modest, since the modest will inherit the earth. Be patient and merciful and honest and quiet and kindly. Always respect the words you have just heard. You will not puff up, nor will you allow disrespect to enter into you. You will not associate with the self-important, but you will walk with the righteous and humble. So then, even accidents that may happen to you will be received as good things, for nothing happens without Elohim knowing. 
Hora'a Didache, Chapter 4 My child, you will remember the one who speaks the word of Elohim to you night and day, and you will honor that one as the master, for whenever the masterful speak, there is the master. Moreover, you will seek out the Kadoshim every single day, so that you may find Shalom in their words. You will not make a rift, but you will calm those who are contentious. You will judge with right judgment. You will not show favoritism, lest you must reprove that one for breaking the rules. You will not worry about whether something will be or not be. Do not be found holding out your hands for receiving, but drawing them back for giving. If you will give through your hands, you will pay a ransom for your sins. So you will not hesitate to give, nor complain when giving, for you will recognize the one who is the best paymaster. You will not turn away from the one in need. In fact, you will make your brother a partner in everything, not claiming anything to be your own. For if you are partners in what is imperishable, how much more in the perishable? You will not keep your hand back from your son or daughter, but you will teach them the fear of Elohim from their childhood. You will not give bitter commands to the man or woman you hire, those who trust in the same power as yourself, in case they might give up revering the power who is over you both. He is coming, not to call together those of high station, but those whom the Ruach has prepared, for you are all workers subject to your bosses as though they were a type of God. Serve them in humility and awe-filled respect. You will hate all hypocrisy and everything that is not pleasing to Yahweh. You will never abandon the Torah of Yahweh, but will guard all that you have received, neither adding to the mitzvot nor taking away from them. In the group session, you will confess your indiscretions. You will not go to prayer with a guilty conscience. And this is the road to life. Death's Road, Hora'a Didache, Chapter 5 But this is the road of death. First of all, it is evil and fully cursed with murders, adulteries, lusts, lechery, thefts, idolatry, magic, witchcrafts, extortions, lyings, acting out, double-crossings, betrayal, pride, deviousness, stubbornness, covetousness, foul mouth, jealousy, aggression, self-promotion, braggadocia, persecutors of good folks, hating the truth, loving the lie, not recognizing the reward of righteousness, not holding to the good, nor exercising righteous judgment, restlessness, but not for the good, but for the evil, from whom tenderness and tolerance stand apart, loving worthless things, running after rewards, not pitying the poor, not toiling for the one oppressed with toil, not recognizing the one who made them, murderers of children, corruptors of Elohim's creatures, turning the back on the needy, oppressing the afflicted, promoting the rich, assessing the poor unjustly, being perfectly sinful. May you be delivered, my children, from all of these things. The Master's Whole Yoke Righteousness Road Hora'a Didache Chapter 6 Pay attention just in case someone leads you astray from the road of righteousness. He is training you in that which is far distant from the lessons of Elohim. If you can bear the master's holy yoke, you will be complete. But if you cannot, do as well as you can. Eating. In regard to eating, bear up as you are able, yet by all means abstain entirely from meat sacrificed to idols, for this is worshipping the gods of the dead. Mikvat, Hora'a Didache, Chapter 7 Regarding Mikvat, here's how you will do Mikvat. After reciting all the necessary words, do Mikvat in the name of Havi and Haben and Haruach HaKodesh in running water. If you do not have running water, you can do Mikvot in other water. And if you do not have cold water, warm will do. If you have neither, 
pour water on the head three times in the name of Havi and Haben and Haruach HaKodesh. Yet before the mikvah, let both the one who cleanses and the one who is cleansed fast, as well as others who are able. In fact, you will order the one who is to be cleansed to fast a day or two before. Fastings, Horah Didache, Chapter 8. Do not allow yourself to fast with the pretenders who fast on the second and the fifth day of the week. You must fast on the fourth day and on the preparation day. Praying. Do not pray as do the pretenders, but as the Master commanded in his Tov Besorah. Pray this way. Avenue in Shamayim. Kodesh is your name. May your Melaka come and your will come to be. As in the Shamayim, so also on Haretz. Give us our daily bread today. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into testing, but deliver us from the evil one. For you are the power and radiance into the ages. Pray this way three times every day. Note from the Editor I have rearranged the order of the chapters, inserting chapter 14 after chapter 8, where it makes much more sense since the subject is preparation for the communion. The Sacrifice, Horaha Didache, chapter 14. Now, in accordance with Yahweh's sovereignty, confess your sins first off so your sacrifice may be clean. Then gather in Yahad and break bread while offering up your thanksgiving. Do not allow anyone who is belligerent with his comrade to join your kahal until all has been settled, so your sacrifice may not be filthy. Since this is the sacrifice spoken of by Yahweh, in every place and at every time offer me a pure sacrifice, for I am a great king, Yahweh says, and among the tribes my name is awe-inspiring. The Thanksgiving, or Toda Rabba, Hora'a, Didache, Chapter 9. Now, concerning the Toda Rabba, give thanks this way. First, regarding the cup. We give you thanks, Avenue, for the special vine of your son, Dawid who you made known to us through your son Yahshua. May all kavod be yours, leolam vayed. Then, concerning the broken bread, we give you thanks, Avenue, for the life and knowledge that you made known to us through your son Yahshua. May all kavod be yours, leolam vayed. As this broken bread was scattered on the mountains, then gathered together to become one, so may your kahal be gathered together from the ends of the earth into your melaka, For yours is the wonder and the power through Yahshua HaMoshiach Leolam Vaed. Allow no one to eat or drink any of this Torah Rabbah unless they have done mikvah in the name of the Master. About this matter the Master has spoken. Do not give that which is kadosh to Goyim. Hora'a Didache, Chapter 10. After you are content, you will give Tauda thusly. We give you Tauda Raba of Hakodesh for your sacred name, which you have made to tabernacle in our hearts, and for the knowledge, trust, and endurance that you have made known to us through Yahshua your son. May yours be Kavo Leolam Vahed. Almighty Sovereign, you created everything for your name's sake. You have given food and drink to benefit all, so that all might have occasion to give you Toda. Moreover, to us you impart spiritual food and drink, an enduring life through your Son. Yet before all the rest, we thank you that you are so powerful. May you be revered, Laolam Vaed. Remember your kahal, O Sovereign. Deliver her from all evil and perfect her in your charity. Gather her together from the four winds into your sovereign realm, which you have already prepared for her 
as the Kahal HaKodesh. May power and esteem be yours, Leolam Vayed. May favor draw closer and this world pass away. Hoshana le Elohe Dawid. If anyone is Kadosh, let that one come. If anyone is not, let that one have a change of mind. Maranatha. Amen. At this point, permit the Nevi'im to offer Tauda as much as they want. Different Ministries Morim Shlikim Nevi'im Hora Didake Chapter 11 Whoever will come to instruct you in lessons that have been previously set forth, receive him. But if the more is off the mark, initiating a doctrine different and destructive, do not listen. However, if the instruction is toward the greater righteousness and knowledge of the Master, receive that one as the Master himself. In regards to Shlikim and Neveim, do according to the order of the Tov Besorah, that each Sholiak, when coming to you, be received as the Master. But let that one not stay more than a day, or if need be, a second. But if the stay is for three days, that one is of Shaker Navi. When leaving, let the Sholiach receive nothing but food until he finds a place to stay. But if he asks for money, he is a Shaker Navi. You will not try to judge or discern what any Navi is speaking in the spirit, for every sin will be forgiven, but this sin will not be forgiven. Not everyone who speaks in the spirit is a Nevi, but only if he is on the master's roads. From his roads, both the false and the true Nevi will be recognized. And no Nevi, when he orders a table in the spirit, will eat from it. If it so happen, he is a Shaker Nevi. Every Nevi promoting Emet is still a Shaker Nevi if he does not practice what he preaches and every Nevi approved and found Emet, if he participates in, say, a public sedur typical of the Kahal, yet instructs you not to do that which he himself does, he will not be judged before you in public, for he has received his verdict already in the presence of Elohim, just as the ancient Nevi'im received. Hora'ah Didake Chapter 12 Welcome each one who comes in the name of Yahweh. Once you have examined him, you will find out about him, for you will know from both the right hand and the left. If the visitor is a traveler, help him out as much as you can, but more than a stay of two or three days is beyond your obligation. If he is a skilled worker and wants to settle in among you, let him get work and eat his bread that way. But if he has no skill and still wants to stay, Use your knowledge to provide a means by which he may live as one of the anointed, but not in idleness. If he will not do accordingly, he is mining the anointed. Beware of such. Chora'ah Didake Chapter 13 Yet each Neve Emet who wants to settle among you is worth his food. Likewise, a more emet is also worth his food, just like the worker. So you will take all the first fruits of the produce, the wine vat, the threshing floor of your cattle and sheep, and give them as a first fruits to the Nevi'im, for they are your Tsar Kohenim. If you have no Nevi, give such to the poor. If you bake bread, take the first fruits and give in accordance with the mitzvah. Likewise, when you open a bottle of wine or oil, take the first fruits and give them to the Nevi'im. Yes, and even of money, clothing, and every other possession. Take the first fruits, whatever seems fair to you, and give in accordance to the mitzvah. Mevakarim, Hora'ah Didake, Chapter 15 Now appoint for yourselves Mevakarim, and Evedim, worthy in the sight of the Master, those who are humble and not money lovers, but truthful and approved. For they also perform the service of the Nevi'im and Morim for your own good, 
Since they do, you may not look down on them, for they are your standing ones right alongside the Nevi'im and Morim. Examine one another. Chora'ah Didache, chapter 15, verse 3. You all examine one another, not in anger, but in a composed manner, as you find in the Tov Besora. May no one speak to the person who has gone off against his neighbor, and do not allow him to hear even one word from you until he completes the teshuva. As for the rest, your prayers, almsgiving, and all your acts, practice these, just as you find in our sovereign's Tov Besora. The Last Days, Chora'ah Dedake, Chapter 16 Watch over your own life. Do not allow your lights to be extinguished and your belt to be unarmed. But you be ready, because you do not know the hour in which our Master comes. You will therefore gather yourselves in Yahad often, seeking those things that are most appropriate for your souls. For the whole term of your belief will not bring you profit if you are not perfected in the final moment. For in the last days, Nevi'im Shaker and corruptors will be multiplied, and the sheep will be turned into wolves, and love will be turned into hate. For as disobedience to the Torah increases, they all will hate, persecute, and betray each other. Then the deceiver of the cosmos will appear as the Ben Elohim, and it will work in portents and phenomena, and Haaretz will be given over into its hands. And it will do perversities such as have never happened before from any age. All creatures of humankind will be brought to the inferno of trial, in which many will be greatly offended and so perish, but the ones who, by their firm beliefs, stand up, they will be rescued by the curse himself. Then will appear the signs of the Amet. The first sign, tearing out of the Shamayim. The second sign, the Kol Shofar. And the third, a standing up of the dead. Yet not all. For it has been stated, Yahweh will come with all his Kadoshim. Then will the entire cosmos see Yahweh coming upon the clouds of the Shamayim. The End Hora'ah Didake